Hello, my name is Owen Gregg. I'm a product marketing engineer here at MiniCircuits. Today, I'm showcasing a X-band up converter uh, made entirely of MiniCircuits components, um, all integrated into our uh, very own ZT boxes from our test solutions team. At a high level, two signals are coming into the box. One at five and a half gigahertz, that's our LO. The other at one and a half gigahertz, that's our IF. Both signals are generated by our own in-house designed and built mini circuits SSG generators. This one goes up to 44 gigahertz and outputs a whopping 23 dBL of output power. Now let's take a look inside the box. Starting with the yellow path, we see that five and a half gigahertz signal goes through our CY2-143 plus doubler, bringing that signal up to 11 gigahertz. Then that 11 gigahertz signal goes through our ultra high stop band rejection uh, micro ceramic bandpass filter BFHKI-1252+. Many components in this family can achieve rejections up to 100 dB in a tiny form factor. Following the bandpass filter, the 11 GHz signal goes into our LVA-273PN+. Uh, this is a low additive phase noise amplifier acting as an LO driver for the mixing stage. The LVA-273PN Plus is a great LO driver due to its low additive phase noise and P1 dB right around 18 dBm, making it the perfect driver for many of our mixers. The LVA-273PN Plus is also a very wide band part, spec from 10 MHz all the way up to 26.5 GHz, making it a versatile choice when designing a system. The next step in our signal path is the SMIQ-5143H+. This is a 5 to 14 gigahertz IQ mixer. But before I focus on the output of that mixer, let's take a quick look at the IF path. As a refresher, the IF starts as a 1.5 gigahertz signal coming out of our mini circuit signal generator. That signal then goes through a 90 degree hybrid, the QCN-19+ where it is split into two paths, 90 degrees apart. Those two signals then feed the I and the Q ports of our SMIQ-5143H+. So remember, we have an 11 gigahertz signal, that's our LO, and we have our one and a half gigahertz signal, that's our IF, both 90 degrees apart. All these signals coming together produces our RF at the output of our mixer at nine and a half gigahertz. That nine and a half gigahertz signal then goes through our PMA3-5123+. Uh, this is a low noise amplifier with about 20 dB of gain, one dB noise figure, and 17 dBm P1 dB, uh, making it a perfect driver amplifier for our output stage. But before we get to our output stage, our 9.5 GHz signal then goes through our thin film bandpass filter, the ABF-9R3G+. With rejection up to 50 dB, this filter does a great job filtering out the unwanted products from our mixer. The last stage in our signal chain is our high power 3.5 watt X-band PA, the PMA5-123-3W+. This amplifier operates from 8 gigahertz to 12 gigahertz, featuring very high gain around 28 dB and three and a half watts of saturated output power. Because the output stage of this demo box is so high power coming in at three and a half watts, we have to make sure we don't hurt our test equipment. That's why this demo box includes a 10 dB attenuator, the BW-S10W20+. So now that we've talked through what's going on inside the box, let's take a look at the output. Moving over to the spectrum analyzer, we see there's a 35 dBm signal coming in at nine and a half gigahertz with very little to no additional signal noise. And that concludes the walkthrough of our mini circuit X-band up converter. Thank you everybody for watching and please make sure you're subscribed to our newsletter as well as you follow us on LinkedIn Instagram and Facebook for the most up-to-date content available for mini circuits.